What's that? Pub. That's the pub. This is the first time in two and a half days that I have hope in my heart. Well, what do you want? Scotch. I'd have an old wine. No, brandy. I think brandy. What about some King's ginger? Oh, God! Yes. There's the door. There's the door. The door. Right. Three pints of your finest, please, landlord. Locked? Shut me. Listen. Let's get on with completing ours. Yes, where's the pub? Exactly. Yes. We're a pub, pub, pub. Oh, what? I've only done two feet. It's shut. What? It's shut. Do you know it is as well? It, it is. is shut. Richard and I fettled our bikes, and Jeremy hit the bar. You have permission to say, oh, cock. <laughs> you shouldn't... You shouldn't laugh at the man who's coming. A noble second. Jeremy, speak to me. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Jeremy and I were bored. Is there a pub? There was, so we went to it, leaving Hammond to carry on building. Hello, good morning. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. He's got any whiskey, got any scotch? Yeah. Would it help focus our minds more on the problem if we had a shot of Hong Thong? Yes. Or you could have the red cock. I'm having Hong Kong. You got, you got any white spirit? Yes, I have. Because I just don't get it. Who here would like an ice cold beer? Oh, yes, please. And had a drink there. <laughs> Hi, we would like two pints of bitter, one rose wine, large, a bag of salt and vinegar crisps, and built on. There's nothing better than your <laughs> local radio pub on. I knew somebody who used to do that. Can you make it nice as a gin and tonic? Do you like what? Gin and tonic? Yes, I'd like a gin and tonic. Can't have a gin and tonic because we're in the Arctic Ocean. I'll make it. What? <laughs> You've got gin! I have. And because we're in international waters, there's no drink driving laws. Exactly. You've got the ice. That's a stupid question, isn't it? At the FCC. I reckon this is one of the coolest bars anywhere in the world. Back in the day, when Cambodia was, let's say, a troubled nation, this is where all the foreign correspondents for all of the world's media outlets used to meet for a drink. Hence, FCC, Foreign Correspondents Club. It's when there was some romance in journalism, in fact. Oh, and expense accounts. Fixed? Yeah. Right, let's go. Oh. Coffee good? Yeah, it was lovely. It was delicious. Good. The reason the Porsche, I think, is the best car is, you know when you drive some cars, you get a, a sense that the car is smiling when you're driving. What? Yeah. No, listen to him yet. Yeah. No, talking. you drive some cars so and, they're, the and, they're, and they're smiling. Oh, what's got this too many gears. in my pocket? It's the £6,000 I've saved by buying the Honda rather than your Porsche. Wait, but and we, too, were taking on liquids. So they're down in. there now, and a bit of coral is going to yeah. start. No, we'll have something. done. It's not a big coral reef, but it's the start, it's the start of a coral reef. Yeah. Well done, chaps. I think that is, we have done. I don't clink glasses, as you know, but we could raise a glass to our success today. Yes, well done, Ash. <sighs> That's disgusting. Oh. <coughs> it's just revolting, this stuff. Women drink this, you know, for fun. America gave the world aviation. Germany gave it the car. Britain gave it the internet. But George's contribution was much more profound and important. You see, Georgia 
gave the world wine. They've been making wine in Georgia for 4,000 years. It's such a big thing here, they now have spas where you can bathe in it. How does it feel? Tremendous. This is wine. That's the great thing about that. He doesn't need a plug. No. He will simply yeah. lower himself That's down and consume That's his bath point. water. Definitely corked. I don't imagine that Hamster and Slow are going to be having a refreshing cup of hot brown wherever they are. I don't think light aircraft have tea and coffee making facilities on them. I'm guessing. I've been shouted at so much. Need a zesty drink. Apart from that, every time you reach for a can of zesty drink in the cup holder, I've done it again. You can't help but nudge the mouse, which sets the destination on the sat-nav to where you are.